Yeah. Discover Press Guile offers visitors plenty of chances to create fond memories and enjoy all the peninsula has to offer. But the week does more than just offer those good times. Yeah, Erie News Now's Kara Jeffers is not live down at the Presque Isle State Park. We'll look at some of the projects that uh, are paid for from the fundraising uh, all put together by the Presque Isle Partnership. Those buttons and t-shirts as they uh, look to sell at Dis Discover Presque Isle. Good morning, Kara. Good morning, Mark and Tracy. Yes, if you've been enjoying Discover Presque Isle this week, you've probably seen those different booths that are just hanging around. They offer the chance for you to give donations. I talked with John DeMarco, who's with the Presque Isle Partnership, to learn a little bit about what those donations are going towards. Discover Presque Isle is starting day three, with a packed weekend still ahead. As guests enjoy the plethora of activities, they may have noticed booths offering donation boxes and merch for sale. So it's very important that people come out to the park and give a little back for all that Presque Isle gives to us all throughout the years. John DeMarco is the executive director of the Presque Isle Partnership, the organization that hosts Discover Presque Isle each year. A nonprofit, the partnership works to fill funding and organizational gaps that the state park department cannot fully cover. Besides direct donations, funds are raised through t-shirts and the popular frog button. Last year we were able to complete uh, two uh, large lifeguard stations, one for Beach 6 and one for Beach 11. Um, we purchased a beach wheelchair, uh, we've purchased um, ADA accessible uh, Moby mats to go on some of the beaches. For this year's funds, the partnership hopes to expand their beach wheelchair fleet with those available to reserve for free at the Public Safety Building. They also want to add solar panel and lighting at the Waterworks Gear Tower and... It's to do some native tree plantings in the fall. Um, Presque Isle is mainly cottonwood trees, so we're looking to increase that diversity. Um, white oaks, um, silver maples, um, pines. Past projects, the partnership acts as an emergency fund for the state park when special circumstances arise, like the halt in spending due to the budget impasse in Pennsylvania right now. Emergencies happen and, and things need to get done, and the partnership is an organization, one of many that uh, can be able to can, can bridge that gap. The events here at Presque Isle for Discover Presque Isle Week are ramping up. Later this morning, I'm actually going to talk with a yoga instructor who helps lead yoga on the beach. There's plenty of opportunities to come down and join some fun. I do have a sign behind me. There's Beach 3 has a swimming restriction, so you should be aware of that. Always check Erie County Health Organization for those updates about beach and water safety. Mark Tracy, back to you.